Good evening. Can you guys hear me? Hello, hello. Loud and clear. Nice. Hello, how are you today? I'm doing well. All right, good, good, nice. So welcome to the English class. My name is Francisco Marroquin. I'm in charge of this class. Um, this week in particular, we're going from today until Friday. But beginning next week, we're going from Monday through Thursday. And the course will last uh, four weeks exactly. So um, four days a week, an hour. And uh, we'll be doing different activities mainly um, speaking and listening. We'll be talking about grammar, but uh, we'll be making a combination of different things. I am 49 years old. I live in Lourdes, Colón. I'm married. I have five children and this is my occupation. You know, I'm an English teacher. I work for different institutions. I teach different levels, different ages. So um, basically that's me. Any questions or comments so far? No? What's my name? Do you remember my name? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Oh no, what's your name? Yes. My name is Francisco. Okay. Francisco Marroquin. Teacher Francisco Marroquin. Yes, sir. Did you hear the rest of the information? Sure. Sure, I, I did. At, at least I did. Okay. All right. So remember, a friendly reminder, your camera has to be activated. I know you have beautiful pictures in your profile, but we want to see you live. It is, it is one of the conditions from Insafort. The person has to show his or her face. There you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, any questions or comments so far? What kind of questions do you have about this course? Who has questions about this course? Or you don't have any questions? No questions. No questions. All right, I want to hear you talk a little bit. Give me a small introduction about yourself, your name, where you live, and where you work, like I did. My name is Francisco, I'm an English teacher. I'm 49 years old. I have five children. I'm happily married. And here we are. Briefly, so okay. a volunteer, please. Volunt Jose Ramos, good to see you again. Good to see you, teacher. Good. All right, so may I have the first volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer. Julia was. Oh, good evening. <laughs> yes, Gabby. Hi. Good evening, Compañeros anteriores, qué bueno verlos. You say, my ex-classmates. <laughs> okay, my ex-classmates. Okay. So, Gabby, can you introduce yourself, please? Uh, um, okay, my name is Gabby Bado, or Noemi Bado. Okay. Um, I live in, in Soyapango. Okay. And I am working in... It's doctor, and I am happy. Okay, do you have children, Gabby? Yes, one daughter. Okay, mm -hmm. good, nice. And what part of Soyapango do you live in? In the Colonia El Carmen. El Carmen, is there a reference point for Colonia El Carmen? Is the Instituto San Luis. 
Okay, yes. Uh, Unicentro. Right. Front. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, good. Very good. Welcome, Gabby. Thank you. Okay, someone else, please. <laughs> Time is money. Let's do this. Okay, Nancy. Hi, my name is Nancy. I I want to say Ellie, please. Okay. Um, I live in Soyapango. Okay. Uh, I work in the Don Bosco School. Okay. Uh, I don't have children. Okay. I am single. All right. Um, I am happy to be staying in the class. All right, good. Where do you live, Ellie? Eh, Las Margaritas. Okay, all right, good, good. Yeah. All right, welcome to the class. Thank you. Another volunteer. You. Time is money. Yes, volunteer uh, or victim? Okay, volunteer. I am volunteer. All right, William. Yeah, hello, my name is William. I am living in San Salvador. I am working for an NGO called Enlace. And I, okay, I love coffee. <laughs> I am a coffee lover. So I am I, too. And I'll, I'll, I'll have information for you. <laughs> okay. So, in, in what part of San Salvador do you live in? Uh, near of, uh, Salvador del Mundo. Okay, good. All right. All right. Uh, and where do you work, William? Oh, uh, in Lasse. In Lasse. It's like an. Yes. All right. All right, good. Thank you, William. Another volunteer, please. Good evening, everyone. Yes, Mario. Hi, everybody. I'm Mario Cortez. Um, I live here in San Salvador, too, near from uh, Vista Hermosa. Okay. Vista Hermosa. Uh -huh. uh, I'm a public accounting, and, and I'm very glad to, to be here uh, right now. Very good. I, I, I see a, a few faces. Uh, that are familiar face. to you. Uh, yeah, familiar, yeah. Okay, good. Course. All right, good. It's nice that you guys uh, know each other. All right, thank you, Mario. Another volunteer, please. Me, teacher? Yes, Jennifer. Uh, good evening to all. I'm Jennifer <laughs> Carolina Costa Bonilla. I'm working in Impression Apparel Group. I, I'm uh, Auxiliary Engineering. And uh, I like uh, I like the uh, large kind of food. And okay. um, I live in Bosque Termatesano Tres in Soyapango City. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. And and I it's a great pleasure is, uh, to be in this class. Okay, good. Yes. Nice. Thank you, Jennifer. Yes, teacher. Yes. What is your name? My name is Francisco. Okay. Marroquín. Francisco, Francisco Marroquín Marroquín. Pardales. Yes, that's my name. Okay, nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you too, Jennifer. All right, Thanks. next person, next volunteer. Hello. Diana. Yes, Diana. Good evening to everyone. Uh -huh. My name is Diana. I, uh, I'm 34 years old. I, right now, until today, I was working in my own business. Okay. I will start a, a new job tomorrow. All right. Okay. At Galvaniza. Okay. And right now, I own my, my own business, which is a funeral home. Okay, good. And where do you live, Diana? I live in Soyapango. What part of Soyapango? In, uh, in the Colombia. La Colonia Los Santos Okay, good. Very good. Good luck on your new job, Diana. Thank you very much. All right, good. Next person. Oscar, Julia, Rocio, Jose, Wendy. Hello. Yes. Uh, yes, Julia. Good evening. good evening to all of you. My name is Julia Burgos. I'm 32 years old. Um, I'm single, no kids. Uh, I live in San Salvador behind the military hospital. 
Okay. I work as an air traffic controller, uh, as an air traffic controller, and I have a classmate here who also is a controller, Mr. Oscar. Okay. And uh, I, uh, the last time I took uh, English classes was, it uh, was uh, like 12, 13 years ago. So a lot of, I think that I forgot in a lot of things, so I hope to remember and sure. learn from all of you. You will. Thank you, Julia. Okay. All right, next volunteer. Hi, Miss Money. Okay, my name is, my name is Oscar Bonilla. Uh -huh. I'm glad to be here again. Uh, I work at SEPA uh, at the Monsignor Airport. I'm an air traffic controller too. And what can I say? I've been, I've been married twice and I have five children. Oh, so you got the, the same number as myself, five kids. Uh, yeah. how, how old is your first baby? It's um, 14. Your first one? Uh-huh. And the last one? <laughs> he's lying. <laughs> oh, he's lying? He's three. He's yeah, three he's lying. So. Okay. <laughs> you're, a, you're a liar. All right. Okay, welcome right. to the class, Oscar. Okay. So right now you're at the airport. Yeah. All right. I'm, I currently at my working place, but I'm, I got permission to, to be here. Oh, okay, good. Very good. Yeah. Thank you, Oscar. Okay. And, and what part of San Salvador do you live in? I live in San Jacinto. Oh, San Jacinto. To the, to the zoo. Okay, very good. Thank you, Oscar. Okay. Next one, Wendy, Jose. Irania. Yes, Jose. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jorge Ramos. I live in Lourdes. I work from Philip Dalton Plan. I am 30 years old. And it's uh, glad to be here. All right, good. Welcome back, Jose. Rocio. Yes, Rocio. <clears throat> My name is Rocio Cepeda de Guzman. Uh, I live in San Jacinto. Okay. Also. Uh -huh. And I work in the Giselle. And I'm, I'm married. And I have one son. All right, good. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Rocio. Nice to meet you. Irene? Irene, can you hear me? Uh -huh. My name is Irene Lima. I live in Santana. I am eight, eight years old. I have a son. I have All right, good. Thank you, Irene. So you live in Santana. Irene, you live in Santana. Maybe she doesn't hear me. Okay, Erenia, you want to introduce yeah. yourself? Yeah. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is my name is Erenia. Uh, I'm married. I'm uh, 27 years old. I live in Lourdes, and I am a teacher. Okay. And good. I'm glad to be here. Okay. Uh, you live in Lourdes. What part of Lourdes? Yes, Campos Verdes. Okay, and you're a teacher. Yes, I'm a teacher. Good. What subjects of do you elementary teach school? Oh, okay. I teach uh, math, science, uh, English too. Good. I try my best. Good. Uh, Very good. The basic, the basic subject. Okay. Nice. I'm a third. I'm a third grade teacher. Good. Very good. Nice. Welcome. Thank you. All right, Norma. Norma Rivera. Can you hear me, Norma? Yes, good night. Good, good, good evening. evening. Uh -huh. I am Norma Rivera. Uh, I am living in San and working in American Park. Okay. And I, I had a, a, a one year and a half. In the in the in the Okay. And I like that, that course. All right. Good. Very good. Thank you. 
And last but not least, Wendy. Okay, hi. Uh, my name is Wendy. Uh, I'm 25 years old. I live in Soyapango. Everybody lives in Soyapango. Uh -huh. And um, I am a, a senior audit in the Lloyd El Salvador. Okay, good. Very good. Nice. Welcome, Wendy. All right. So now we go to our first activity. You guys are going to be working in pairs. And you will answer the following question. Why do you want to improve your English? Why do you want to be better with the language? So let me assign, I got seven groups, seven right here. So whoever your partner is, answer why you want to improve your English. So let's do this here. Uh -huh. Loading, loading, loading. Irene. Irene, can you hear me? It's difficult to improve the, the, the speak, uh, improve the speak and the listening. But I try to, to do it uh, in, in many forms in, in my home or inside the, the, the my work, my work. And the second is to, to try to uh, man, uh, maintain, I uh, don't remember, maintain, maintain or keep, Man, maintain or keep, ah, uh, keep. I okay. think the, the problem is when talking and listening too. Okay, so we are here and we are going to be practicing. <laughs> yes. Exactly. So, did you did you went to the to the U.S. and the Switzerland? And Caribbean speak the most of the countries speak English, so I have to speak. <laughs> yeah, them I, I understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me too. I need to improve my English because uh, I have a a dream, but. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe the dream is for 2022 because this year was a uh, this year sucks. <laughs> but <laughs> maybe the next year uh, I have a, a job opportunity in Canada, so I need to improve my English because uh, oh. in 2019 mm -hmm. I wa I traveled uh, to Vancouver, and I remember that I can handle like very convers I, had, I, I can handle a conversation very fluently with uh, another Canadian people. So I feel very frustrated because mm. I 
I forgot it's so many words. <laughs> yeah, and and for me because I I try to to speak with everybody because I am very, you know, I have a a, a little charisma for for talking with. So that's that's that's, that's, that's why you need. Uh -huh, you need to keep practicing because sometimes exactly. if we don't practice, we forget the exactly. word. Exactly, we forget. In my case, I want to improve because I teach. So if I have the the skills, not only for teaching but to communicating in a proper way with my with my kids. I my laptop here in my home. Oh, yeah, it, it, it is easy for you. Yeah, and mm -hmm. there is for my it is from my company. Yeah, yeah. So I, Teacher. I, but Hello. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you too. So, Thanks. were you two together in the previous class? Yes, yes. Uh, and the four, four course is the pre intermedio uno, creo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And and when was this? What? When, when was this course? When did you finish that course? When? Oh, uh, I am uh, in July for este pre avanzado uh, okay. number three. Okay. Uh -huh. Y el, perdón, uh -huh. perdón, teacher. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And in the avanzado number one. Uh, I know. You didn't take it? No, no. Okay. With the papers, uh, the inscription, no, no. In Was not work, accepted? No. no, yes. Okay. Es, uh -huh. Hubo un relajo ahí, no me lo dieron a tiempo y me dejaron en espera. Okay. All right. Teacher, necesito practicar. Okay. <laughs> That's why I assigned you to work with William, so you guys practice a lot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> All right. See you soon. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. Uh, what I what are we talking about? Uh, I think. All right. Did you guys finish talking? Why you want to improve your English? Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Let's yes. go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Your microphone is off. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm sorry that I was mute. Uh, does anybody want to share why you want to improve your English? Yes. Uh huh. Somebody? Yes, I explained to Jose about the, the why the reasons. Uh huh. Yeah. It's uh, in the first time for my job and for uh, each information uh, I receive in English. Okay. Uh, inside the words, I, I don't practice the listening and, listening and speaking. Okay. But I practice uh, reading and, uh -huh. and you know, reading and and writing. Okay. And, and the second for improving inside the inside the world. Okay. Maybe back to the merchandising area. And and the third for the uh, it's my it's my dream. Okay, good, good. It's my dream travel to to United States and visit to my sister and okay. speak very well with other people. All right, nice, nice. Okay. Yes. Now Jennifer, she mentioned something very important that out uh, uh, that this is the only space where maybe she practices the language. So when we're doing pair work, don't speak Spanish, only English. Got it. 
All right, okay. good, thank you. Anybody else wants to share why you want to improve your English? Anybody? Me, teacher. Yes, yeah. go ahead. Uh, in my case, I think it, it's really difficult for me to answer to someone when they are talking to me in English because I need to order my, my, my your ideas Your thoughts, uh-huh. Yes, and, and after that, I, I need to know how to, to answer them. So it, it's good. kind of difficult for me, and I think that this class is going to help me. Sure, very good, Diana, good. Mario, you raise your hand. Yeah, I talk with Rocio that why I, I need to improve my English. And I say to, to Rocio that because I need to, to have a, a lot of job opportunity and maybe travel to Canada for an opportunity. And it's very important to, to have in a conversation because sometimes when you are uh, talking with an American citizen or a Canadian citizen, it's very difficult to have in a conversation. So. It's very frustrating for me that uh, you can remember so many words or you can use the correctly grammarly, the, the pronunciation, etc. So okay. for the reason for me, it's very important to have this opportunity and talk with, with you, Francisco, and with everybody. Yeah. For, very good. Thank you. Mark. Yes, good. Someone else, anybody else wants to share your opinion, why you want to improve? Okay, I am going. Yes, William. <laughs> Uh, you know, I am working for an NGO, and uh, almost our partners are from our, the, the United States, and uh, we receive uh, like two airy teams from the United States at the year. So sometimes I am working with them, uh, and uh, always I need a translator with me. Uh, so I, I don't like to depend from others. So okay. I want to improve my English for for. I can working with there in, and Good. don't need a translator. All right, so you want to become more independent. That's good, nice. Good. One more last person, one last person. No? Okay, so I know that everybody has good reasons why you want to improve. Some of you because you want to have a better job. Maybe you guys gonna take a, uh, uh, a career, or maybe just self-satisfaction and you want to communicate uh, well with the others. All right, so have you had the chance to visit the platform? Have you visited the platform? Yes. Yes, okay. Do you have any problems, any inconvenience? No? Uh, really, no. Okay. All right, so today we're going to discuss the first topic, which is related with grammar and speaking. Let me show you this here. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, um, the topic is infinitives and gerunds. What's an infinitive or what is a gerund? Do you remember infinitives and gerunds? I think the infinitive is when the verb is not conjugated. Uh, okay. Can you, okay. Uh, when we talk about infinitives, you need to add uh, the the uh, word to the word to <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, what are gerunds? You need to use ing. Yes, you need class. to use ing. So here, here you have two examples. May I have a volunteer to read the first one? It's rude. Example. Yes, the example. It's rude to ignore your conversation partner. Okay, it's rude to ignore your conversation partners. Right there, we are using infinitives. Now, how can you use, how can you send the same example by using gerunds? Very easy. So you say, ignoring your conversation partner is rude. The message is exactly the same. You just have two different options to say uh, the same message. May I have another volunteer to read the second example? Please, it's a, teacher. Yes, please. It's a good idea to try out different topics. Okay. What is the other form to say the same uh, message there? 
trying, trying out, out topics is a good idea. Okay, good. Any questions or comments there? So mm -hmm. are you guys familiarized with infinitives and gerunds? Yeah, and, and the verb the verb is is the convert and the gerund phrase. And the using the and the verb plus uh, ing. ing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. And right? meaning this is it the same meaning. It, it's the same meaning. The message is exactly the same. Yes. And, and that's why when you're speaking the language, be spontaneous, be natural. Um because that's how people talk, the same way you speak Spanish. When you speak Spanish, you don't think, and you speak naturally, spontaneously. So your goal has to be to use the language in a very natural way. So you can use infinitives when you use to plus the verb, or you can use gerunds when you put ing at the end of the verb. Any questions or comments? No? A question. Okay. Can we use in all the verbs? Yes. The both types? Of yes. Mm -hmm. So you can say uh, working every day without a recess is not a good idea. Working every day without a recess is not a good idea. Or you can say to work every day without a recess is not a good idea. So you can use it with all, all, all verbs, yes. All right, so let me show Without you. what? Without what, uh, Francisco? Uh, you can use them uh, without any problems. You can use the two options with all verbs. Oh, okay. All right, let me show you this document here. Loading, loading, loading. Is this, re is, uh, this uh, re related with the passive and active voice? Something like that? Not really, not really. We'll be talking about passive and active, but this one is completely different. Okay. Yes. So let me, all right. So look at the examples that we have there. Can you see the document? Yep. Okay. Yes. Can somebody yeah. please read the first one? Going to Los Chorros. Okay. Going to Los Chorros is not possible now. To go to, go to Los Chorros is not possible now. Okay, thank you. So you have two different sentences, a uh, different structure, but the message is exactly the same. Okay, what about number two? Another volunteer, please. Um, number two? Buying. Yes, number Sorry. two. Go ahead. So Sorry, okay. Is buying a house is not a bad idea. And uh, to buy a house is not a bad idea. All right, good. So once again, two different structures, two different options, but the message is exactly the same. All right, uh, and who was going to read uh, number three? Uh, me. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Taking a shower at 4 a.m. must be out of this planet. Mm -hmm. To take a shower at 4 a.m. must be out of this planet. All right, good. All right, any questions about these three examples? What time do you guys usually shower? 6 a.m., 7 a.m.? Five a.m. <laughs> All right, good. All right, so uh, we have five different exercises. To ride a bike is faster. Eating two hamburgers might be dangerous. Flying a kite is one of my best childhood memories. To read a book, a good book, you need time. And investing your money is really wise. So you can take a, a screenshot from the from the computer or I will send you the image right now. You guys will be working uh, in pairs. And let me assign the pairs. Um, exchange with her. Exchange with her. Exchange with her. 
I will exchange him here and I will exchange him there. All right, let's go people. So if the exercise is infinitive, you change it to gerund. If it's gerund, you change it to infinitive. Jose, can you hear me? Like two, what 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 year was that? Two two thousand five? No, two thousand. Yeah, no, two thousand six. Yeah, two thousand six. Yeah. Nice, Julia. Wow. I, but, sorry, yeah, a lot of time. I, I, I don't remember exactly the in what year we are. Yeah, uh, when I hear the name Mario Cortez, but uh, but your face sounds familiar for me. What? <laughs> yeah, the I, name, I, I, no, I yeah, wasn't I, sure. I, it's it's nice the same face. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same face, Julia. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I, I remember it. I, I... Childhood memories. Childhood. Childhood. Yes. Memory. Memories. memories or memories? Memories. Memories. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. That will be. Oh. To the reading and good book. Oh, and number three. Fly? Number three to fly. My dangerous might be dangerous to eat to hamburgers. Maybe it's a possibility, but I don't know if it's possible. I use my at the beginning of a uh, sentence. Uh, which number are you doing? Number two. Number two. Okay, eating two hamburgers might be dangerous. Is that what it says? Yes. Okay, so what? how do you change it to uh, to infinitive? Uh, we think it's dangerous to eat two hamburgers. Yes, it is dangerous to eat two hamburgers. Good, very good. But no use it might. Um, you could say... Uh, to eat two hamburgers might be dangerous. Or you can say it might be dangerous to eat two hamburgers. You have the option to change uh, the position of the word. Okay. So the two options are good. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this Hello. case, what do you think? Hello. Did you... Which which yeah. number are you doing? Five. <laughs> number five. Investing yeah. your money is really wise. Yeah. To invest. To invest. Uh huh. Uh huh. What is the meaning of wise? Uh, is is like. Um, very uh, smart. Very yes. smart. Very. Yes. It's a very good. Very ma mature. <laughs> uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> to be wise is a synonym that the person is mature. Okay. <laughs> okay. What did you say? Sorry. Okay. Um, within. Which number are you doing? Um, actually, actually, we did the, the old one, but 
we were discussing about the, the example of the platform. Oh, okay. Are in For different way. Earlier about the, the sentences. Okay. Yeah. So what were you discussing about the platform? Because, uh, for example, in the number five, you can say it's really wise to invest your money. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Or to invest your money is really wise. Yes. Or investing your money is really wise. Like yeah. This. Yeah. So that's the idea that you guys get familiarized on how to say one thing, having different options when you speak. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we almost go back to the main session. Let me see, room seven, right here. Hello, hello. The teacher is joining us. Hello. We had a, we hello. Had a, Hi. You know, we had a, a question. In yes, the what is four. the question? Number four, to read a good uh -huh. book anytime. Uh huh. I, I was telling Jennifer that I don't think it makes sense if you say reading a good book, you need time. Maybe for reading a good book, but I'm not sure it's like a condition for reading a good book. No, you, you, you can. You can. You say reading a good book, you need time. Yes, you can. Uh, it's, uh, okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Or you can say you need time when reading a good book. So you uh -huh. have the option. Uh huh. I was thinking that maybe we could add uh, a different word before sure. reading. Sure. Now remember that this is grammar, and the idea mm -hmm. is that you guys get familiarized on how to use this in a real life situation. So in a real life situation, you guys have the chance to uh, to place the vocabulary in different uh, positions of the sentence. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, many, many, many years ago, I confused with this part because uh, I have help to my to my co to my um nephew. Uh huh. In a work homework. Okay. And I I read the the the. the the, the sentences, uh -huh. the structure, yes, and I confused because I didn't understand in 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 that moment right. the meaning. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it, and I understand. In uh, uh, the best, I understand. Uh, in this moment, I understand uh, well. Okay. Good. Uh, good. Yes. All right, Erenia, you wanted to say something. Yes, I was going to ask if it is correct if I say for reading a good book you need time or yeah. you need time for reading yeah. a good book. Or yeah. you can, there. No, you can put it in different positions and the message is good. Uh, ah, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. All right. The message is the same. Yeah, yeah. The message will never change. The only thing that you will change is the form of the verb, but the message is exactly the same. Thank you. Okay. All right. So did you finish the five uh, uh, sentences? Yes. All right, yes, good. Let's go back to the main session. All right, all right. So let's see this here. Okay, to ride a bike is faster. How will you change that into the infinitive form, in the gerund form? Sorry. Riding a bike is faster. Good. Number two, eating two hamburgers might be dangerous. To eat two hamburgers might be dangerous. Good. Number three, flying a kite is one of my best childhood memories. Uh huh. Anybody? To fly a bike. To, to fly, fly a kite, kite. Uh -huh. it's one of my best childhood memories. Good. What about number four? To read a good book, you need time. To read a good book, you need time. One more time. Reading a good book, you need time. Good. And the last one, investing your money is really wise. 
to invest. To invest your money is, your really, money wise. is really right. wise. Okay, so you can make uh, certain changes and you could say, it is really wise to invest your money. So oh, you, can, okay. you can play with certain words, placing them in different uh, positions. Yeah, yeah I, have a, I have a question for number four because yes, we Mario. have a discussion with, uh -huh. with Julia in, in Josue and we put, when I, I put these sentences for number four, you need time to read a good book, Yeah. but I don't know if it's okay. Okay, you need time for reading a good book. Uh -huh. Remember, uh, yes, you say for reading, you need time for reading a good book. It is good. Okay. Now, and now that you mentioned that, if, if the form of the verb in that, in number four in particular, if you change in the, uh, the form of the verb and you're using ing, you need to use the preposition for. Oh, okay. okay. Right, so for reading a good book, you need a good time, or you need time for reading a good book. So you can change it in different positions. Okay, thank you, Priscilla. Okay. All right, good. Anybody else? Any questions or comments? No? Uh, no. Okay. So let me, where is this? It's right here. Okay. Let's do this exercise here. Okay. Can you see the screen that I'm showing you? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So it must be... We're still watching the exercise. Okay, can you see it now? Knowledge check? No, yes. we got it. Okay, so number one says, it's appropriate to talk about politics at work or school. It's appropriate talking about poly politics at uh, work at school. Good. So it's appropriate it's appropriate talking about politics at work or school all right okay. good another volunteer number two using oh, certain gestures is impolite in some foreign countries impolite in some foreign countries to use certain gestures good very good number three another volunteer asking someone's age is often considered yeah. rude uh-huh Volunteer. Is considering rude to ask someone's age? Yes, it is considered rude to ask someone's age. What do you do when someone asks uh, your age? Do you consider that rude, class? No. What? No. no. Repeat, please. If, if someone asks you your no. age, do you consider that a rude question? Not rude. Really? No. No. Mm, no. I think no. Okay. It depends. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> depends who asks. It depends who's asking. All right, good. All right, number four. It's not unusual in the US to address a professor by his or her first name. What is the meaning of the word address here? Did he hear? Did he hear say ah, exactly? Very good. Yeah. It's not unusual in the U.S. to address a professor by his or her first name. Okay. It's not unusual in the U.S. addressing a professor by his or her first name. Okay. Or you can say addressing a professor by his or her first name is not unusual in the U.S. All right. Teacher. Yes. I I write the the answer. Uh -huh. In the in the in this is exercise, uh -huh. but all all is bad. All are bad. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I okay. Don't know. <laughs> Good that you mentioned that. Good that you mentioned. Remember that the platform. Uh, sometimes, when and this is a cultural thing. What is the uh, punctuation mark that you use when you finish a sentence? That. Yes. Period. If, if you're making a question, how do you finish that question? With a question mark. With a question mark. With a question mark. Question so going back to your comment, maybe your punctuation was not included. So try to check the punctuation and let me know if that changes the situation. 
A teacher maybe check the, the, the race too. Maybe because check the space. Oh, the space, yes. The space, yes. Sometimes, sometimes it's uh, yes. incorrect. Exactly. So this is the time where you guys need to apply punctuation marks properly. Because like uh, William is saying, apostrophe. Uh, if you're finishing the sentence, you need to use a period. If it's a question, you have to use the question mark. If it's an exclamation, you have to use exclamation mark. So the platform has been designed for students to use uh, the language uh, properly. So check your punctuation when you give the answers. Yes. Okay. okay, what about number five? Hugging friends when you greet them is customary in many cultures. To hug friends when you greet them is customary in many cultures. Okay, to hug friends when you greet them is customary in many cultures. In the United States, you see your friends, your classmates, your coworkers every day, and when you see them, you hug them. So it's, it's normal, it's normal. And the last one, asking strangers if they're married is inappropriate in some countries. What do you think? It depends. It's inappropriate in some why countries do you want to, to know ask that? strangers. Okay, it depends why you want to know that. Okay, yeah. It depends on the intentions of the person. Yeah. Okay, so can someone uh, change that to the to the other form? Mm, it's inappropriate uh -huh. in some countries to ask strangers if they are married. Good. Mm. Very good. All right. Um, any questions or comments about this exercise? Teacher. Yes, sir. Could you please fill out one of the sentences? Sure. In order to see. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see, it's a uh, propriate talking about politics. Talking about politics at work or school. So what is the, the uh, what am I supposed to do type next? Period. The period. period. Right. period. Yes. No, no, that's a comma. Period. So there. Oh. For sometimes teachers, Oops. you need to change the, the, the wow. order. For example, you can say talking about politics okay. at yeah. work or school, it's appropriate. Yeah. You, you have to be. try with both wow. of the options. And, and remember that the platform is designed, uh, they already have one particular uh, answer. So the one that I wrote is good, but that's not the yeah. one they chose. They wrote talking about politics. So try to, yeah. if the punctuation is good, try to change the position of the words, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to everybody too, <clears throat> yes. Mm -hmm. All right, anybody Hi. else? Any questions, comments? No? Um, no. Okay, so let's go to our last activity, which is related with vocabulary. And it's this one here. Your desk is very similar to mine. A lot of documents for students. Yeah. You know, and, and I'm teaching three different classes, well, four different classes. So I have to modify. Um, all of them are English classes. Yeah, all of them are English classes, right. Okay. Okay, so here we will classify if the vocabulary is positive, negative, or neutral. How do you pronounce the first one? Compliment. 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 No, compliment. Compliment. Is compliment. positive 
Negative or neutral? Positive. Positive. It's positive. But it depends mm -hmm. also in the vocabulary the person uses. All right, uh, number two, how do you pronounce number two? An insult. An insult. Positive or negative? Negative. 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 Number three, how do you pronounce number three? Appropriate. Appropriate. Yeah. Okay, positive or negative? Positive. Okay. Neutral. Neutral. Appropriate? Mm. I would say it's positive, mm. but it could be. Yeah. It depends on the situation. All right, what about number four? But four. Platform. Platform. Well, is it negative? negative? That is literal, yes. What about number five? Okay. Inappropriate. 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 Positive or negative? Negative. Negative. What about number six? Normal. Normal. Exactly. Normal. Neutral. Yeah, it could be neutral. Yes. But it's positive. Yeah, it's 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 normal, like um, but it could be neutral. Like if you see a car crossing a red light, is that normal in El Salvador? Yeah, oh, I know. It's normal, yeah. but it's not. Could be. Yeah, Could it's be. normal, but it's not exactly. It's normal, but it doesn't mean that it's you should accept. Uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What about number seven? Offensive. 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 Okay. Offensive. Positive or negative? Negative. 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 Okay. Negative. Number eight. Polite. 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 What is polite? Is amable. Positive. Uh huh. It's positive, it's positive. Exactly. What about number nine? Rude. 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 Positive or negative? Rude. Negative. Rude. Negative. Okay. Number ten. Strange. 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 What is strange? Positive, negative, or neutral? Negative. Neutral. 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 Okay. Typical. Typical. No, neutral. 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 And the last one is unusual. Unusual. Neutral, neutral too. Neutral. Uh -huh. neutral too. Okay, good. Very good. All right. Um, any questions or comments about this vocabulary? Um, no. No? No. Okay. So tomorrow we will start with this um with this vocabulary to have uh, the complement, the complementary activity. So if you don't have any questions, I want to thank you for your time and I'll be seeing you tomorrow at eight o'clock. You guys have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye everybody. Good night. Bye everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.